Hey, HighTechLegion.com, Skate and Eric here, and we're going to show you the actual uh, GUI that is installed on the RTN56U router from Asus. Um, as you can see, there's a nice clean interface here. Um, this is just the, the, the simple screen that pops up at first uh, after you do the full install. Now, um, this is set to automatically set up for you at first boot, so when you first plug it in, it'll auto automatically try to set up your IP addresses, see if there's any conflicts or anything like that. So, And what they have also done has, is uh, installed it so that you can do it either through the Ethernet cable or um, you can also do it through the wireless LAN, so you do not have to be connected to the router to get the easy setup. It'll do it even through the the WAN. So if we look at the first uh, page here, you'll see you know the IP address that they have set up um, that it's connected to. Now I'm connected through my AT&T uh, UVerse box. That's why it has basic uh, you know DHCP uh, IP address. Um, it shows my security I have set up. It'll uh, give me a client list of what's all connected. I also have a USB drive connected for all the other features. Um, there is two USB ports and they are fully powered as well. Um, this will tell you my SSIDs for the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, as well as turning on and off AI radar, which is their, uh, what they do is they try to um, improve the signal in the direction that your 5 gigahertz device is connected to. Now if we go down, we can do Traffic Manager where we can uh, set the QoS settings, also monitor everything that's going on. In you know, this is good for people that do have caps on their service. You can see how much you're transferring through the internet or through your wired network connections. Parental controls. We also have the USB applications. Now, um, AI disk, if you do have a DDNS, uh, it will let you set up your USB disk uh, so that you can access it through the internet. Um, the server center will set up the actual device, the USB device that you have plugged in that uh, you can set it up to share through Samba or through the FTP as well as just miscellaneous settings, you know, make sure it's set up on the right work group. You can rename the devices and change how many users can be logged in. Now if we go back to the USB applications, we they do have a network printer server that you can set up. Um, if you have, you know, Verizon, T-Mobile, if you have a 3G, 4G modem, you can plug it in and it will use it to back up or um, you can use it in that mode as well. Here's the setup for it. Download Master. Now this, this is for... Um, pretty much where uh, if you want to use your router itself to uh, torrent, uh, to download torrents, to set up torrents, that way you can access them through the internet or you can basically set it up as a torrent server. Let me install it real quick, this is going to take a little bit. Okay, now that it's installed we can take a look. Now it will tell you to log in using your um, login name. And as you can see, it's set up just like a, a torrent client. You can add files in here through your computers and then link them and basically set up your own torrent server. Now the next program is the media server, which will set up uh, the DLNA stuff where you can set up a media directory or uh, you can also set up the iTunes server that will connect between all your devices. Um, you could either do it through the connected USB device if you have a good hard drive installed or if you have networked computers you can also set up that directory as well. And then we get down now to the advanced settings and this is all the specifics you see on most of the other routers. Uh, within the wireless settings here you have your complete setup for the wireless, your WPS setup, you can set your bridge settings if you want to use it as a bridge, wireless bridge, your filter, your radius server setup, 
and then just the various specifics. You have your LAN settings, your DHCP server settings, router setting, just route settings. If you do have your IPTV connected through this uh, specific one, if your provider supports it, here's the settings for that. And your switch control, because it does have a gigabit, um, four port gigabit switch on there, you can adjust the settings. Then we got the WAN settings here, port trigger, virtual server, DMZ, DDNS, and NAT pass through. If you do, this will support IPv6 if when that comes around, if you do need it. If you have a VPN set server um, in a DDNS, you can set that up as well through the router. Your individual firewall settings, URL filter, keyword filter, and network service filters. And then just your general administration settings. Um, you can set it to wireless router mode, access point mode, system settings. This will uh, upgrade the firmware through the internet so you can always check yourself for the latest or if you download it yourself you can upload or do the firmware update through the download. And then just your basic saves, restore to default and upload. And there is also a system log here to s if you want to keep track of all the things that are going on. see the client leases, wireless log, port forwarding, as well as routing table. And that is it for the installed menus on the Asus RT N56U router. Uh, for full review, please click either the bubble that pops up or the link below. Um, now, if you like our stuff, you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and like the video as well.